What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with I Don't Know Blog. We are talking about Flex. Flex is an upcoming jailbreak app that allows you to create patches for your springboard or for your various apps that you have installed on your iPhone, and you can create them on the fly. These change the properties of the app. It's basically like creating your own jailbreak tweaks on the fly, and it's very, well, flexible, hence the name of the app. Now, the thing that's really touted about Flex is the fact that you don't need to know how to program to get in there and start digging around and customizing your iPhone. I'm gonna show you how this works right now. Here is the interface. You can see it's a very well-designed interface. At the bottom, you have patches. There's where all your patches will be contained. You have the cloud where you can download various patches that other users have created. And as you can see there, there are lots there. And you also have the about section which contains documentation and more information about Flex. First of all, we're gonna talk about the patches section. Now you notice here there's a little search window. Once we get into looking at various patches and creating them, you can actually search within the various fields there so you can easily pinpoint what you want to customize. If you hit this little plus button in the upper right hand corner, you can choose the app that you want to target for your, your own custom patch. We're gonna try out the messages app. Let's see here if we can find messages. I know I saw it there. Scroll down a little bit, there we go, there's messages. Now once you choose your app, it opens up the patch editor. Here you can alter the title of the patch. It gives it a default name, messages patch. You can also add units, we'll talk about the units a little bit later. Now we're gonna create a patch that allows you to display all the timestamps for all of your messages, so that's gonna be the name of our patch here, if I can type it right. I uh, didn't type the M right, okay, that's okay. Show all timestamps, whatever. You get the point. All right, tap done. And once you tap done there, you can go ahead and tap it again to rename it if you wanna correct your spelling mistakes. I won't be doing that right now. And then you can add your units to the patch, which actually is what changes the functionality of whichever app you're targeting. Now in this case, I want to target the messages library, but it, as it turns out, the messages library isn't the actual library we wanna target. We wanna target the chat kit library, and we'll get to that in a second. But first, let me mention that if you haven't already opened a library, you actually have to tap on it like this and process it. So in this case, app support, you just tap process there, and that will allow you to open and peruse the contents of that library. I've already processed messages in chat kit, so that's why you see the little arrows to the right. And once you have processed it, you can peruse the entire contents of that library, look at all the various classes. And here's where the little search option really comes in handy because you can target specific keywords. For instance, if I'm creating a timestamp patch, what do you think I'm gonna type in here? Well, of course, I'm gonna type timestamp because that's what I'm targeting. So let's go ahead and search for timestamp using the little search option here. Just tap there and type in timestamp. Hopefully I can type this correctly. Yeah, I got it right. Timestamp. All right, and then you just hit return. And now we can search through the rest of the classes or methods that are listed here. Um, let's see, that one looks about right here. Should show timestamp for date. So that is the class we wanna go ahead and add. So if you just tap on that, it puts a little check mark next to it and that adds it to your patch editor, just like that. So once you have added it, just cancel your search and then hit the back button, hit back again. And there we go, there is our show all timestamps patch with our unit added for the show timestamp for date method. So we're almost done, but not quite. We need to go back into that unit and alter the value for that method, the override return value. It's set to false right now. We wanna set that to true, it's a Boolean value. Uh, so all we need to do is just tap on it and then override the value, just tap it again. There you go, now it's set to true. So. This should display a timestamp once it's enabled, and I'm gonna show you right now how to enable that. All you do is you tap on it and the little check mark box will turn blue. First of all, let me show you what the Messages app looks like by default. And there we go, so there is the Messages app. You see the two timestamps there, but it's not on every single message. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on every single message by enabling this patch. So show all timestamps is now enabled. Let's go back to Messages, it'll refresh here. And there we go, we see timestamps for every single message just like that. So that it shows the power of Flex. You can create tweaks on the fly using these patches 
and it really doesn't take programming knowledge. I mean, granted, it does help if you know exactly what you're looking for, but for basic stuff like this, it's not absolutely necessary. Now notice this, a little share button in the upper right hand corner, you can share patches. This is what really makes Flex powerful. You can, of course, name your patch, during the creation period, you can give it a description and then you could submit your patch to the cloud to be shared with other Flex users. That is really, really powerful. And that's what's gonna make this a jailbreak app that you're gonna to wanna to keep your eyes on come release date. Now, if you go to the cloud section, this lists all the various downloads that you have there, including the shared patches eventually that'll be added here as well. So how easy is it to download one of these shared patches? Well, just tap download in the upper right hand corner. The patch is downloaded. Go back to your main patches screen right here and then go back out of the editor and there you go. You can enable it just like that. So you can download stuff, enable patches on the fly. It can be a really powerful tool if used correctly. Now I know some, some of you are probably concerned about how users are gonna be using this, especially if they're not programmers. They're just gonna go in there and start messing around, breaking stuff. Well, since mobile substrate is there, there's a protection layer with that. And if you happen to break something, which I'm sure many people, especially those who aren't programmers will, then just disable the patch or uninstall Flex. In fact, John Coates, the developer of Flex, has responded to some of these questions and criticisms on a post on iDownload blog. I have the link in the description uh, linking to that interview. But folks, I'm telling you, Flex is a very powerful tool. I almost want to call it a, a deeper spring tomize, where spring tomize 2 allows you to customize a lot of things using a, a pretty GUI interface. This does too, but it, it's a lot deeper. You really, you're actually getting into the code of the apps that run on your device. So what do you think about Flex? Does digging into the code like this at such a, a low level intimidate you or are you excited about the possibilities with Flex? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.